Hello students, in this video we'll use Green's Theorem to find the area inside a special hypocycloid called an asteroid. Let's consider the curve, consider r of t, which is cosine cubed of t sine cubed of t for t between 0 and 2 pi. This is the asteroid curve, this curve is called an asteroid and it's a special hypocycloid of four cusps. And so we plot this curve on a calculator or plot for different values. If this is the x-axis and it's the y-axis, it looks something like this. It goes up, comes back down, goes back like that, and like that. So the curve orients like this. I'd like to find out what the area inside this hypocycloid or this, this asteroid is, and we're gonna use Green's theorem to do so. So let's recall that if I have a closed curve, C, and I do this integral over here, if I look at this vector field, negative y over 2 comma x over 2 dot t hat ds by Green's theorem, this is going to be the double integral over the interior of that region, interior of the curve c, of what? Of the x derivative of this thing over here, of x over 2. That might be like, you, know, this, like, you can do this like a, as your p and your q, it's the x derivative of q, and then minus the y derivative of negative y over 2, dA, this turns into a one-half, that turns into a one-half, so this just turns into the what? The area inside the curve C, the area inside C. So let's do this for our problem. So for our problem, what do we have? So for our problem, we're going to plug in these things over here. So we're going to integrate this flow integral is the flow from 0 to 2 pi. Negative y over 2 is negative sine cubed of t over 2 comma cosine cubed t over 2. I need to dot this with what? I need to dot this with the derivative. So the derivative of the x is going to be 3 cosine squared of t times negative sine of t. And what's the y derivative is going to be 3 sine squared of t cosine of t dt. So if I can evaluate this integral over here, then I'll be able to find out what the area inside the asteroid is, right? Notice over here that there's a 3 over 2 in everything, right? So let's pull out that factor of 3 over 2. So it's going to be 3 over 2 the integral from 0 to 2 pi. Everything has a 3 over 2 in it. And then we'll have all the sine cubed cosine squared, sine cubed of t cosine squared of t in the first term. The second term is going to be a cosine to what? Actually, it's going to be a sine to the fourth power, excuse me, so sine to the fourth. So that's a sine to the fourth power. Fourth. Because I have sine cubed times sine of t, so that's a sine to the fourth. And then what? And then a cosine to the fourth sine squared. So sine squared t, cosine to the fourth of t, that's going to be a dt. Now the key here is they both have a factor of sine squared, cosine squared in common, so let's pull that out. So I have a what? I have a 3 over 2, the integral between 0 and 2 pi, of what? Of sine squared, cosine squared, sine squared of t, cosine squared of t. And over here I have a sine squared plus cosine squared, so what's left over is just going to be a 1 dt. Great. So now the observation over here is that I'd like to do this. I'd like to put in a factor of 4 over here. So I'm going to artificially put in a factor of 4. So if I put a factor of 4 in here, I have to divide by 4. So this is the same thing as 3 over 8, the integral from 0 to 2 pi of 4 times sine squared of t cosine squared of t dt. Okay. And now this is really just what we have to recall. So recall that the sine of 2t is 2 sine of t cosine of t, right? So therefore, this is really what? This is really 3 eighths integral from 0 to 2 pi of what? So over here, I have 2 sine of t, I have a 2 squared, a sine squared, and cosine squared. So this is really the sine squared of 2t, sine squared of 2t dt. And now finally, we can use power reduction on this. So this is 3 eighths, 3 eighths, and then the integral from 0 to 2 pi of 1 minus the cosine of 2t. Oh, actually, excuse me, it turned to a 4t. 4t over 2 dt by power reduction. So that 1 half is going to integrate just to pi. So we have a 3 eighths pi from the constant factor. And then I'm going to have a what? An antiderivative of this negative cosine over, of 4t over 2 is going to be a what? It's going to be a negative 
and the 3 over 8, so plus 3 over 8, 3 over 8, and then I'm going to have a negative sine of 4, uh, negative sine, negative sine of 4t over 8 from 0 to 2 pi. Of course, the sine of 8 pi and the sine of 0 are 0, so these terms over here cancel out, and we see that the area inside this asteroid is just 3 pi over 8. Thank you very much.